What the hell is a Type 71? Eh, might as well boot up Blitz. Now is a good time, so... When the hell do I have a T-28 heavy tank concept? I never got this thing. It's a premium? Oh! They're selling it in the garage. I don't actually have it. You can buy it for gold. <laughs> you lied to me. I don't have a T-28 heavy tank concept. They're also selling it instead of rewarding it, so... Alright, I have a freaking S35. Yeah, I have this thing for playing Blitz, but a bunch of tier 2s and tier 1s. <laughs> Alright, what the hell is a Type 71? It's Japanese. They don't have the other heavy tanks, the actual PC heavy tanks with the gigantic size. The OIs or the Type 5s, they don't have it. Type 71. The hell is this thing? Uh, front. Oh, this is the stats page. Ew! <laughs> You're saying the 116 F3 looks like this thing? Interesting. It looks like a gigantic SDB practically. Or Type 74. But it has a 120mm. Huh. Well, I do see some resemblance of the hull a little bit to the 116F3, but yeah, it's a different turret, obviously, and the commander cupola is a lot bigger, a lot bigger than the 116F3. You see the size of this thing? I mean, it's no Type 61 big, but still pretty big. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the actual stats and poke around the Japanese heavy tanks on Blitz, but we have Blitz Hangar, and they have the heavy tanks at Japanese, the Hori, Tank Destroyer, Hori shit. <laughs> All right, Type 71, we have 255 millimeters of pen for AP, 400 alpha, eh, workable. It's like a Super Conqueror, but not as good as a Super Conqueror. It should be a little bit faster, but 1,100 meters per second shell velocity is not bad for AP round. Gold shell is 330, but... Wow, you guys have less alpha for gold shell on Blitz? Or are they considered as gold shell or just normal shells with the same price as normal shells, but you get less alpha for more penetration? That is neat. So you don't have the gold shell complex on the PC version, I guess, but there's a trade-off for having more pin, and that is less alpha. Interesting. Alpha drops to 340 with a DPM of 2200 compared to 2600. That's neat. So same goes with high explosive in the other way. So a lot less penetration for more alpha, obviously. Oh, that's neat. That's interesting. 120 millimeter. Takes about 9 seconds to reload. Uh, you do have a rammer, right? You have a rammer. So rammer does work. Alright, rammer works. Uh, you have calibrated shells. So you can choose between a rammer or calibrated shells, but... Oh, it boosts penetration at the cost of damage. Interesting. So it's like the the high explosive anti tank basically in a equipment package. Supercharger. Boosting shell velocity. That's a neat one. Enhanced gun lane drive, you already know that. Vertical stabilizer and refined gun. It bo uh, boosts dispersion. So that it Oh, it only boosts accuracy, it doesn't boost dispersion. So it buffs accuracy at the cost of dispersion. Alright. Uh, neat, I guess. <laughs> you could choose... Oh, you can choose all three? You can choose six equipments? Oh, you cannot. And you can only choose three, I think. I don't know how that works. I don't play Blitz. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the armor mo model. 
So, view 3D model, external modules. Yeah, the commander cupola is big. It is, what? 300 millimeters? Really? For 127 baseline? I mean, on the top, it's 150 millimeters effective, but on the bottom, there's a weird lip. Yeah, there's a weird lip that is going up to like 300 millimeters effective. Like right here. It's 136 at the base and 150 at the top, but this lip is trollish. That's interesting. It's about 270-ish millimeters effective. Huh. Alright, I mean... It's still a magnet or a tumor that draws your attention to it, right? Alright, upper plate, about 320-ish millimeters effective. Beak is 700, it's 274, but sloped. Lower plate, 100, sloped downwards at steep angles, about 70 degrees, holy crap. Yeah, lower play is still pretty nuts, but still, I, I'm concerned about the tumor on top. Turd cheeks, about 345, 310. Mantlet is mantlet, so don't even think about it. Um, this should be the loader cupola and periscopes and vents. Huh. Alright. Side armor. What? 25 millimeters of space armor. Is that space armor? Yeah, that's space armor. The tracks are blue. 25 millimeters of size skirts? How thick are your skirts? Jesus. And 40 millimeters of track armor. Normally it's 20. And space armor is like 5. Holy crap. You only have 105 for the hull sides, but damn, that is thick size skirts. How thick are your size skirts? Jesus. Holy crap! Side skirts is insane! I mean, yes, you have less armor on the hull sides, but you have a thicker side skirt. So, theoretically, it's still pretty good, but yeah, normally it's only 20 millimeter for the tracks and 5 millimeter for the side skirts. Well, it doesn't have the gun, it's only a 120. So, only a 120. And doesn't have the autoloader, so doesn't have the burst damage. Oh, you need the rammer. Baseline DPM is only 2,200. Ah, so that's why they put the the equipment stuff on here. So you have to uncheck everything. Uncheck, 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 uncheck everything. Uh, they have a different view range system, so you cannot compare 400 meters of view range to 250. That doesn't work like that. Obviously, um, health should be about the same if they have about the same DPM or health or for uh, health for alpha in a sense. So health should be about the same ballpark, but they don't have horsepower per ton ratio. Spotting distance. So they have a speed of 40 kilometers per hour top speed, but they don't have a horsepower per ton. They also have a different terrain resistance stuff. Weight ratio. Effective power to weight ratio. They put horsepower per ton right here. But it's only 12.78 on hard terrain. That is um not not fast. Did they have it on this page? Average pen, maneuverability, top speed, average horsepower per ton is 13.7, but on hard terrain with terrain resistance. Yeah, it only it cuts down to 90%. That's what I think from this number percentage. So it's only like 12% horsepower per ton ratio on hard terrain, which is less than this thing. This thing is 14.5. So yeah, it looks like the Type 71 a little bit based on the hull armor and tour armor, but the tumor, <laughs> the tumor on top, and it's not as fast and doesn't punch as hard as the 130 autoloader, I think. So a three-man platoon of the 116 F3 is pretty nuts compared to three-man platoon of Type 71. And I don't think you can put platoons in Blitz, or can you? I have no idea, but it's like a larger STB, practically. <laughs> a 
larger Type 74. It's still interesting and people will play it. I mean, if you put this thing on PC, on the actual PC version, I think people will play it compared to something like the Type 5. Nobody plays the Type 5 nowadays. <laughs> or is that monstrosity? I mean, I love originally the concept of Japanese heavy tanks. They're big, they're slow, they're thumb. They're fun and thumb. But they're so dumb. <laughs> the fun thumb. <laughs> uh, it's like driving the OI back when that tier 6 and tier 5. It's, it's fun. But it's so goddamn dumb. Uh, dumb. <laughs> you get picked on by leaf blowers and FE-304s all the time. <laughs> so dumb. But it's fun, I guess. <laughs> Nobody plays it, especially after the high explosive nerf. God damn it. So, yeah, I mean, they could introduce, introduce the Japanese tank destroyers as well. As well as the heavy tanks, but oh my god, what the hell is these things? Type 68. Uh, do they have modules, or is this the base model? I have no idea, but... Let's see... Oh, they have a different button! Neat! Um, is this the base model? Are there modules to upgrade? I think there are modules to upgrade, but... Tier 10s usually have fully upgraded stuff already. Uh, let's go back to the list. Oh, it's from... They have the modules, but... Go back to... So I have to select the module? When previewing? Can you put the top module on? I don't know how the buttons work. <laughs> Damn it. That's That should be the stock vehicle model. Looks like a Japanese version of a... Leopard prototype, practically, or... Uh, standard leopard prototype for the Italian. Whatever the hell they call it. Can I mount the turret? Can I just see? No, I can't even see. Well, only go to Blitz Hangar to see the stuff. They have a different turret, obviously, for this compared to the stock turret. Alright, I mean, a little bit different. Looks more like the Italian tank destroyer with the periscopes as ears, but her front is about 300 millimeters. Hull front, 127 well sloped. Very well sloped. Huh. Lower plate, shoot the lower plate. There's a driver hatch or driver viewing slit, but only 203. That's unfortunate. I cannot preview the top turret. Oh, come on, man. I don't know how to work freaking blitz. Alright, fine, whatever. If you don't want me to see, then I won't see. Research type to research this module. All right, fine, whatever. Uh, the Chise. The hell is this thing? Oh god! <laughs> it's like a Japanese version of a AMX M4, practically a little bit, with a Japanese turret on top. <laughs> Looks like the AMX M4, 1949 version. So it's like the Liberté in terms of hull design, but it's a it's a Chiri esque or Chito esque of a turret. It's Japanese. It's not like the well. It also looks kind of like the Type Five, but you have a gigantic cupola on top. Oh god, how thick is the armor of this thing? <laughs> All right. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like. 203? Wow, that is good at tier 8. Uh, shoot the lower plate. Always shoot the lower plate, but... That is good. That's like a lot better than the Ferdinand. Ferdinand is flat, 203. And not including the... The sponsons at the sides. That's pretty good. Turret front. Still good, 234-ish. Uh, shoot through the mantlet. You just shoot through the mantlet. It's only 180-ish. Shoot the mantlet. You will also damage the gun. Alright, fine. Commander cupola also. Yeah. Why are tracks 40 millimeter? Why are they so thick? Is the actual like type 5 with like 40 millimeters of tracks? I don't think so, but does this thing have like 40 millimeters of tracks? 
Uh, it's only 20 usually. Fifty. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> Fifty millimeters of all tracks. There's thirty foot. Well, you have to give them that. The side skirts are thick, but it's not as thick as thirty-five <laughs> on the Type Five. Jesus, and fifty millimeters for the tracks. Holy crap! You're a thick boy. <laughs> but nobody plays you because of the high explosive nerf. Oh God. All right, moving back. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, that looks like a Panzer IV turret, the, the space armor for the term, for the turret. <laughs> oh, let's go to see tier 7. Wrong button. The Chise. Oh, already saw the, that's the Chise. The Juto, Judo throw. Oh, stock turret, obviously. Damn it. Well, you can at least see the hull, but yeah, they have the space armor for the turret now. I mean, it's still, people will still play it compared to the Type 5s and the Onis and stuff, but... <laughs> wow, <laughs> space armor package. A lot of space armor package. 20 millimeter of tracks now. It's a little bit more uh, consistent or... Standardized, normalized, realistic, I guess. <laughs> 25 for the space armor on the turret, but it's at tier 7 with 180 for the turret front. It is big too. Shoot the commander cupola, shoot the hull front. If you have gold shell, 90 well sloped is decent. 180 for the beak and shoot the lower plate. Always shoot the lower plate. I mean, it's interesting still, I guess. I mean, it's a lot more interesting than doing copies of a T-32 and putting it as a premium, right? <laughs> a hell of a lot more interesting than that. Ugh. The Juni. Ugh. It's like a fatter Chiri, or practically. <laughs> so wide. Alright, and at tier 5, we have... Oh god, it's like a Japanese copy of a T-28 or T-29 with double mini turrets for machine gun boobs. <laughs> god. Oh, this thing is huge too. Holy crap. Oh my god. Look at the size of this thing compared to the tent. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, it's so big and cumbersome. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they had the Japanese tank destroyers for a while now, but... Yeah, is the heavy tanks just introduced this year? That is neat. That is pretty neat. I mean, I never know about it because I don't keep up with Blitz, but... That is fun and dumb at the same time. <laughs> that is real dumb. Oh god, it's a Mitsu 108. Does it weigh 108 tons? Let's see... How fat are you? Only 45. Only 46. It's not that heavy. But it's pretty, pretty disgusting looking. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Machine gun mini boobs are... 110. That tier 5 is alright, you'll get pinned. Upper plate is 90. So that is pretty good for upper plate. Lower plate, 106. Usually the pin is about 100 to 120-ish for average medium tank gun at tier 5 so it is decent but you're not standing up against tank destroyers or heavy tanks they have about 150-ish millimeters of pen so you could bounce a few depending on the angles but nah, still a fun size to look at 55 for the hull sides and there are space armor and tracks only 5 millimeter but Oh, there you go, folks. I spent and wasted time looking at Japanese heavy tanks that are different on Blitz. So they also have the the tank destroyers. The holy crap. <laughs> it's like, like gigantic Ferdinand's practically. <laughs> or like a Chiri that turns into a freaking tank destroyer with the superstructure. How much armor does this thing have? 
250. At tier 10? No, superstructure is 250. That doesn't do squat. That's the same as a Ferdinand. You need like 300. No, this thing is not going to do squat. You'll get pinned. Yeah, it is 250. You say that's good, but it's the same as a Yak Tiger. And you get Gold Shield in the Yak Tiger, practically, if you're hull down. So, where the hell is a Yak Tiger? It's like this thing. It's 250 for the superstructure. 250. There you go, 250. Yes, it's effective. Not effective against Gold Shell. So, well, better upper plate for the hull, I guess, but... Yeah, it's no Yak Panzer E100. <laughs> How much does that thing have? Like 300? It's no Yak Panzer E100. This thing is such a menace. Well, it's 250 sloped. I thought it was 300. I thought it was a lot thicker than flat 250. Never mind. Huh. Is it angled? It's flat! <laughs> Alright, it's like a Ferdinand for the Japanese. A Japanese copy of a Ferdinand, practically. Alright folks, just rambling Sunday, I guess. And never noticed the new heavy tanks for the Japanese, but... Yeah, this thing, holy, holy crap! <laughs> How big of a gun is this thing? Uh, armor piercing 560 millimeters. Oh, that's the that's the health. That's not the armor penetration. <laughs> armor pen is 310, which is still decent, but it's not 560 millimeters of pen. How big of a gun is this thing? Is it like a 180, 170? It's a 170 for the Yak Tiger, but how big is your gun? Concealment, mobility, traverse, dispersion, gun depression angles. What's the caliber of the freaking gun? 150 millimeter. Oh, that's that's tame. <laughs> but it has a lot of pin for a 150. Yeah, really good pin for 150. You could go down to uh 500 alpha compared to that doesn't that's not that big of a difference. 560 compared to 545. That's not big of a difference, but you get more pen. A lot more pen for the gold AP shell. Okay. 550. That is super tame. Ugh. I thought it was like something big. Like a 170. Oh, 550? Uh, 150. <laughs> 550 alpha is pretty tame compared to the 1000 alpha. <laughs> On this thing. Yeah. Super tame. Well, there you go, folks. Rambling about on um, Blitz, but looks like they have a new Japanese heavy tank line that I have no idea about. But I would love, I would love to see these on the PC version. I would love super terrible large heavy tanks that doesn't do anything. If only the high explosive work. God damn it! Americans have still the usual setup. Um. Yeah, the usual. The E3, E4, E5, the Yo, the T57 Heavy. Nothing really is amiss other than artillery. So that doesn't count. <laughs> they don't have the Waffen Trigger off E100. That doesn't work here as well. Uh, mouse, E100, E50M, Leopard 1. I guess the ROM Panzer is also terrible on Blitz. And they they don't even include it. <laughs> they don't even include the ROM Panzer. What? Okay, 268, no version number 4, uh, there's no 277s, there's no reverse 705As, so ST2 is also missing, uh, 430Us, they still have the light tank, which is decent, what the hell is, oh, object 84, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> Gross. So this is their version of a T-54 lightweight. I mean, you could see it on PC. You could. But I would like to see the Japanese heavy tanks and tank destroyers first. They're still using the 183 instead of the Badger. They're still, they're still using the 4202? Wow! And the actual FE-215B instead of the Super Conqueror. Alright. Japanese heavy tanks and tank destroyers already covered. They're still using the... 
medium tanks, but they don't have the OIs or Onis or whatever. Uh, Chinese tank destroyers already been there and done that, but they're still using the 113, not the 5A. Interesting. And the 121, but they call it the WZ 121. Ah, Nito. They're still using the Fosh 155 instead of the Fosh B, and there's no AMX M4s or 1954 at tier 10. Yeah, there's still no AMX M4s. They're still, well, they changed the Lorraine 40T to the Bat Chat. I guess that's a difference. And they combine all the other smaller tech trees into one. So Emil, Kronwagen, uh, toilet papers, projectos. They don't have the Riceroni, they don't have the CS-63s, or the, they don't even have the Swedish S-Tanks, which are one of my favorites, but hey, they don't have the VZ-55 too. Alright, oh there you go folks, just rambling on Blitz, and you guys mentioned, what the hell is a Type 71? Well, it looks good, but I don't think it's as good as this thing. The commander cupola is still a big factor for me, and the tumor on top doesn't look, you know, <sighs> that strong. I mean, there's a there's a trollish lip on it, but it's still a weak spot compared to a smaller cupola on this thing. And the gun is not as threatening as as this gun, especially with the three man platoon. So I will give the Type seventy one a, I say, seven out of ten. Maybe 7.5 because of the armor, but still not bad when you consider the armor. The hall armor and the lower plate armor, as well as the thick ass side skirts, and somehow freaking 40 millimeters for the tracks. That's pretty huge. So it's like a gigantic S STB practically, or Type 74. But yeah, it's like a 7.5. It's pretty decent if it's on. Um, actual PC instead of Blitz, but people will definitely play this thing compared to the Type 5. <laughs> definitely. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.